on my time as a YouTuber, I've seen a lot of crazy videos, but I think this one's crazy and unique. So what I'm referring to is that this swimmer from Russia, here we have a pro swimmer called Nika, which I just realized kind of sounds like the N-word. So posted this video to her story, making fun of a kid who was working out. <laughs> It took 11 seconds to ruin her life and she's getting completely destroyed, rightfully so. Yeah, guys, let's make fun of the guy who's learning how to use the gym for the first time. Let's make fun of the guy who doesn't know how this equipment works, doesn't know how to use it. He's barely getting started. Let's point the finger and discourage him and put him on blast. I think she has like 30,000 followers. You put this in front of thousands of people. It'll be one thing if you're just like joking with your friend, right? You're like, hey, look at him. Look at that little noob over there. That's one thing, right? I'm not saying that's okay. I'm just saying that's one thing. It's a whole different thing to record it, to record a little kid, upload it to your Instagram stories. This is going to completely discourage him from doing anything like this. Imagine you're 13 years old and you get blasted in front of 30,000 people. So I went to her Instagram. The comment sections are absolutely brutal. 14,000 comments with a thousand likes, horrible ratio. And this is where she apologizes for being a horrible person. I've decided to comment on the matter that has been bothering people a lot. So here we go. People want to hate playing the victim and they just need to be guided where to spread their hate and that was on me. I know the kid and he's the funniest guy ever, not giving a fuck when his coach is not looking. From the start, this person's playing the victim. People want to hate me because they're bored and they just want to spread hate. So he didn't need any of my help because he's in the swimming group with other kids and a coach and he knows how to do the exercise. He's not sick or disabled. He's just a kid. So then this woman goes on a whole Bible arc just chapter after chapter after chapter let's actually believe this person why was it necessary to do that you know what i'm gonna be nice to you today i'm going to believe you you don't think that could have been taken the wrong way are you actually that stupid but as a grown-ass woman that you are how do you not capture that it's like if i upload to my instagram stories a video of me and my sister just arguing right and i call her things she calls me things you don't know the context you don't know the story you don't know how we get along all of these other factors that people don't know so that's why you're gonna explain it now, I will never upload that because I don't know how the people are going to perceive it. I know that I'm joking. I know that I'm just having fun. But thousands and thousands and thousands of people don't know that. You should have known better. You should have never uploaded this. You guys could take away anything from this video is you don't need to post every single thing you do. Every single little piece of your life. It doesn't need to be content. We don't need to know about it. I love this part. Most of the hate came from grown ass men, which is surprising for me. The people in their 30 to 40s don't have a life and the men are actually more cruel inside than women. Once again, the classic move. It's them. It's not me. I didn't do anything wrong. It's always men. Ah, I hate men. And then she says this, I don't own an apology to anyone because I didn't do anything wrong. Because if you are telling the truth, how the fuck are we supposed to know that you guys have been best friends for years? We don't know that. We don't know you that well. We just see you pointing the camera at a little kid, but you do need to apologize for being a fucking moron. And this is me if I'm believing you, right? This like button, that's a dumb excuse. Two words, narcissism and self-center. And she's a professional athlete too. It's not like she's this random person who goes to the gym once per month. You should have known better. I wish I could understand these people. I wish I could be this fucking stupid sometimes. The arrogant laugh as you film that kid to make fun of him is so sad, so disappointing to see. Does he have bad form? Yes, it's just a kid. In a situation like that, you have two options. You can politely approach him and ask him if you'd like some help. Then teach the young man, show him what good form is. Or... You can mind your own business. Filming him to make fun of him to post on social media is never an option. And you're a professional athlete. You should know better. And I DM'd you to tell you that and ask you if you think that you're better than people and you can do as you please because you're a professional athlete. Your response? Yep, to lighten up. Really? Newsflash, being a professional athlete doesn't make you better than anybody or give you the right to treat people like this. You need to do better. Just the way she's going about this is everything wrong with it. It's the worst, worst way to deal with this situation. Being sassy, being pretentious, being annoyed, not apologizing. I don't feel bad for you and uh, hope your career dies. <laughs> with that said, thank you so much for watching. What do you guys think of this situation? Please subscribe and like. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time, all right? Peace.